With the CLA now anchoring the small car in for Mercedes-Benz, it should afford the larger C-Class the luxury of, well, being more luxurious. So we headed out for a quick spin in the 2015 C-Class to find out. Keeping things simple for a change, the C-Class launches with just two models. The C300, now with a 2.0-liter turbo i4 and 241 horsepower, and the C400 with a 3.0-liter twin-turbo V6 and 329 horsepower. Both models include a 7-speed automatic and surprisingly 4-matic all-wheel drive. A new four-link steel spring suspension is standard, though you can add sport or luxury tuned packages or even an all-air suspension setup. We came away with a less is more impression, feeling that the C300 by far offered the more engaging experience on road. Neither model slouches on upscale features, however. Great looking and feeling interior packages are highlighted by a new gesture controlled central controller, which worked fairly well at first try. Even Benz's low speed autonomous driving and automatic braking systems are available on the new C Class. Fancy features for the once entry level vehicle. One thing I've noticed in the C Class is it's really quiet. So Really not a lot of wind noise coming through, not a lot of road noise. Unfortunately, the engine noise doesn't come through. I really like the sound of the V6 twin turbo when I drove it a year ago in the E-Class in Germany. But it doesn't seem like all that sound comes through in the C-Class. But most people probably won't care and they'll enjoy how quiet it is in here. But upgrades don't come free and the 2015 C-Class is up in price, starting around $41,000. A rear-wheel drive C300 will be available next year starting around $39,000.